Hello there, fellow peasants. So, uh, I'm waiting in my car for my dental appointment. Uh, so while I do that, I figured I'd take the time to do my Scream 6 movie review. Uh, so, I've always been a big Scream fan. always loved the, f the first three films. Never really cared for anything past number three. I always thought the sequels after three were good. They were decent movies, but... I just don't think the story need, needed to go on after Scream 3. Uh, so uh, I'll give you the positives first of Scream 6, and then I'll give you my negatives. And I'll give you like a, I guess a rating. So my positives are it's shot very well. I like how it's shot. The cinematography is really good in this. The acting was a lot better in this. Especially the main characters like um, Tara and Sam. Uh, I think they upped their acting game in this a bit. Um, I did like the New York setting. I think it, I think there could have been a little more like skyline f views from you know. I really wanted like a rooftop scene. Like where I really wanted a chase scene on a rooftop somewhere where you can see like the skyline of Manhattan or something in the background, you know, just like to give it some epic feel and didn't really get that. Closest we got to that was Gail's apartment where she's kind of running outside on her balcony and you get a little bit of the cityscape in there, but uh, it, it probably would have been nice to have a nice like little climax at the top of a building somewhere like, uh, like on a rooftop or just a chase scene or something. Uh, but I did enjoy the uh, the New York setting. I think they they did they did good with that. Um, I think the kills are brutal. Uh, Ghostface is definitely uh, more angry and pissed in this one uh, than he has been before. And this is a spoiler review, so if you uh, don't want anything spoiled, uh, don't watch. Uh, the rest of this video so uh, I uh, but I did like there were three killers in this one uh, there's always been two except for Scream 3 where there was one uh, I like that they switched that up there was three killers in this so that, that was actually surprising um, and that is probably it uh, for the what I liked uh, what I did not like was um, how predictable it was. As soon as they mentioned that... It was mentioned at some point in the movie that the killers want to emulate Scream 2. The first thing that came to my mind was... Uh, well, Billy's mom was one of the killers in Scream 2. And he was the boyfriend of the of the lead girl right in the first film i'm like okay well who was the boyfriend of the girl in the la of the main girl in the last film that was richie and who's old enough in this movie to be richie's dad the the cop um so i kind of figured the cop was one of the killers early on just because of them mentioning that the killer is trying to simulate Scream 2 or something. So, I kind of pieced that together. I honestly didn't think that uh, they were, both the other killers were going to be his kids. <clears throat> and I didn't think uh, the nerdy kid that was an econ or whatever was, uh, I didn't think he was going to be one of the killers. I thought he was ruled out. Um, because of the train thing, because the thing on the train, but I should have known better that there would have been at least two ghost faces and he could have not just not been in the uniform on the train. Um, I didn't like how people got stabbed over and over and over and they kept surviving. Chad needs to die. Chad needs to die. He, uh... Dude got cut up real bad in Scream 5 and lived. 
and then he got cut up in this one real bad and like 20 minutes goes by in the film like we go through the whole reveal and everything and final fight sequence and he's still and he's back in the theater area somewhere bleeding out to death after getting cut up by two different ghost faces and he still manages to survive i have no clue why they allowed him to survive uh tons of people in this movie get stabbed repeatedly and just keep going like like they didn't get stabbed in the gut uh so that that kind of takes you out of the film because there's like no stakes really uh it makes you realize wow there's like no stakes in this film at all and so if people don't die then ghostface isn't that scary like he was a scary ghostface like he's probably the ghost face in this was probably the best ghost face. He was scary. He was intense. He didn't give a shit. He came at you in the middle of the day, in the middle of public. He was just very aggressive and violent. And um, all that's taken away when you let everybody survive, you know. Um, but overall, I would say uh, if I'm ranking it as a Scream film... I would probably give it like a 6 out of 10, 6 or 7 out of 10 as a Scream film. As a film overall, I'd probably give it like a 5 or 6 out of 10. Um, but yeah, as a Scream film, it did good. 6, 7 out of 10 for a Scream film. Not too bad. Uh, it, I definitely enjoyed it more than Scream 5. Scream 5 was a little bland to me. It just... Uh, or something very vanilla about Scream 5. Uh, but overall, guys, it was entertaining. I enjoyed it. Um, I don't think it need to be I don't think it needed to be made. I think yeah, I, I think at this point you can always find another family member or somebody to be pissed off enough to put on a ghost face suit and, and try to kill somebody. So it's just where where do you stop the, the story, you know? And I think the story should have stopped in Scream 3. But studios like making money and people will go watch it. I went and watched it. I went and gave him my money. Uh, so I can't talk too much shit. But it was fun. It was entertaining. And uh, yeah, we'll see where they take it from here. But uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, go, go down below. Tell me what you thought in the comments of Scream 6. And uh, coming up later today, I'll, I will also be posting a ranking. I will rank uh, all six of the screams and let you know what I think about those. Uh, obviously, Scream 1 will be my favorite. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll see how it all fits together now that uh, Scream 6 is out. But, all right, guys, have a good one. Peace out, peasants. Bye-bye.